You see this capsule here? This is L-phenylalanine. It's an amino acid that I have used under my tongue probably over 200 times now in my lifetime. And the reason why I've put this particular powder underneath my tongue is because every single time that I do it, I feel more focused, more alert, more energized, and I feel like I'm more awake. In today's video, what we'll do is have a look at the unique benefits associated with using L-phenylalanine as a supplement to enhance mood, motivation, and focus. So L-phenylalanine is an essential amino acid, meaning that it must be acquired through diet or supplementation as the body is unable to produce it independently. Now, phenylalanine is found in various protein-rich foods. So a great example would be today, just have a think back to the foods that you've eaten, maybe for breakfast or lunch. What did you eat in those meals? If you had meat, chicken, fish, or any sort of or eggs, like you have already ingested L-phenylalanine in the amino acid form. So we can see that L-phenylalanine is found in meat, fish, eggs, dairy products, nuts, seeds, and certain grains. Now it serves as a building block for proteins and is crucial for various functions in the human body, particularly in the synthesis of production of important molecules like L-tyrosine, dopamine, norepinephrine, epinephrine, which regulate mood, appetite, and the stress response. Now individuals afflicted with phenylketonuria, which is a very rare genetic disorder, face difficulties metabolizing phenylalanine. Um, so this is very rare. You'll see on, you know, on soft drink labels and, you know, some energy drinks, they'll say, warning, contains phenylalanine. It's very rare that somebody actually has the phenylketonuria, which is a rare genetic disorder um, where you can't actually metabolize it and there's issues with uh, that pathway. So why are people using L-phenylalanine? Like, why have I used this under my tongue where I've let it, you know, just I've opened the capsule, put it under my tongue, about 200 milligrams. Why are people doing this? Well, why are people actually experimenting with L-phenylalanine? Well, when I first read up about L-phenylalanine, I knew that it was going to exert a dopaminergic effect. And so if we look at the main uses, number one is cognitive enhancement. So as a nootropic, mental health and wellness. So for addiction, depression, general mood, ADHD, um, to enhance exercise performance, I can definitely vet that. If you take it before a workout, you will probably notice less fatigue because remember that serotonin buildup during a workout is what contributes to fatigue. So, and the opposite is true for dopamine. The more dopamine you have throughout a workout, the greater your endurance, your resilience, and your willpower. And just think about, you know, those last few reps. What is it that gets you over the line? A lot of that is mediated by dopamine and norepinephrine. We can see that L-phenylalanine has also been used for appetite control, pain, alcohol withdrawal, Parkinson's disease, skin health such as vitiligo and we can see the different pathways here so you can see that L-phenylalanine goes down via the phenylalanine hydroxylase pathway down into tyrosine then from tyrosine hydroxylase that pathway goes to L-dopa and then from dopa decarboxylase that enzyme accelerates the conversion of dopa into our favorite neurotransmitter dopamine so the key benefits we can see that L-phenylalanine has been used for depression as a mood enhancer a brain booster treatment of alcohol and drug addiction, it helps with vitiligo, and it's possible a fat burner during exercise. That's another point that I love about phenylalanine. If you take it on an empty stomach before a workout, it actually will enhance the amount of fat that you burn during that workout. So as I said, it is essential substrate for molecular synthesis in the body for neurotransmitter systems, dopamine, and the catecholamines. Now, this usually results in improvement in motivation, increased concentration, focus, anxiety relief, and mood enhancement. Now, depletion in the two studies below showed impairment memory tests and alertness, higher irritability, anxiety, lower mood, and energy. If you deplete the brain of L-phenylalanine, it's very likely you'll see reductions in alertness, memory, and you'll feel more irritable, anxious, and have lower mood. It's interesting to note the behavioral effects of acute phenylalanine and tyrosine depletion in healthy male volunteers. This would make a lot of sense if you're restricting the substrate, the precursor for dopamine synthesis. Yes, of course, you're probably going to be more irritable, you're going to have a lower mood, you're going to have less energy, you're not going to be as vital and thriving on life. If we have a look at these studies here, so this first study here was titled The Effects of Phenylalanine on Exercise-Induced Fat Oxidation, a preliminary double-blind placebo-controlled crossover trial. And basically what they noted was that these results suggested that pre-exercise supplementation of phenylalanine may stimulate whole body fat oxidation. No serious or study-related adverse effects were observed. This next study here 
here was titled Dietary Supplements of L-Phenylalanine and Other Amino Acid Precursors of Brain Neuroamines in the Treatment of Depressive Disorders. The purpose of this study was to test the antidepressant efficacy of dietary supplementation with the amino acid precursors of brain amines, whose deficit is presumed to underlie depressive disorders. Of 40 depressed patients, 31 improved mood elevation with administration of L-phenylalanine up to 14 grams per day. Now bear in mind that I'm only using about 500 milligrams or 250 to 500 milligrams in this capsule form. You can see here, basically I, what I do is open it up, put it under my tongue. I've already done it this morning. I don't need to do it again. Um, that's why I'm feeling vibrant and upbeat and, and inspired. And basically that is a, you know, at 500 milligrams, you will feel it under the tongue. Like it will have a pretty noticeable effect on, you know, energy about 20 20 minutes after dosing. So we can see here, this next study was titled Effects of Phenylalanine on Energy Intake and Glycemia, Impacts on Appetite Perceptions, Gastrointestinal Hormones, and Gastric Emptying in Healthy Males. And the current study shows that phenylalanine, when given in isolation in a concentrated form, has the capacity to both reduce energy intake and lower postprandial blood glucose in healthy men in a dose-related fashion. The suppression of energy intake most likely involved a number of gut and possibly pancreatic hormones while the blood glucose lowering effect was due to insulin while slowing of gastric emptying surprisingly played no role and the involvement of GLP-1 remains uncertain. So clearly we can see some unique benefits of L-phenylalanine and we can see the, the very wide dosage ranges. So we can see common dosing is from around 500 milligrams to 2000 milligrams per day um, and not, nootropic starting doses are around 500 500 milligrams to about 1000 milligrams. There are studies where they're doing research dosage of up to 14 grams daily. 14 grams, that's 28 capsules of a 500 milligram capsule, huge doses. Uh, too high poses risk of hypomanic symptoms. Um, so obviously, you know, can be quite euphoric at that sort of dosage. I don't advise going above 2000 milligrams personally. And bear in mind that it's best taken on an empty stomach. So you wanna use L-phenylalanine on an empty stomach and away from food, away from other amino acids as well. Just remember that fact. If you look at what phenylalanine actually can stack well with, it does actually stack well with other cognitive enhancers so things like caffeine, L-carnitine. It also works well with huperzine A, ginkgo biloba, and some other racetams. And we can maximize effects by pairing with other substrates for neurotransmitter synthesis, such as vitamin B6, vitamin C, remember the vitamin B6 dosage must be low, copper, folate, iron, and zinc. As we can see here, these are all essential cofactors for the adequate conversion pathways. So, you know, we need enough vitamin B6, we need vitamin C, we need copper, we need folate, we need iron, we need zinc. This is why it's important important to have a diet that is rich in bioavailable nutrients, which is basically a modified carnivore diet in my opinion. So if we look at the other unique effects, so we can see that DL-phenylalanine markedly potentiates opiate analgesia. This is a different form of phenylalanine. This is the DL-phenylalanine. I'm not as much a fan from the productivity, mood, energy, and alertness side of things, but the D-phenylalanine is actually better for pain, okay? It's more targeted for pain-related disorders. Now, D-phenylalanine potentiates acupuncture analgesia in mice and humans and has been used to ameliorate a variety of human chronic pain conditions. Interestingly, this next study here looked at serum tyrosine to phenylalanine ratio in which is low in Parkinson's disease. Um, so basically they identified, and this makes sense. I mean, we know that Parkinson's is predominantly an issue with dopamine transmission. And so we can see that there's a reduction in the, the ratio of tyrosine to L-phenylalanine. And then this study here was looking at the treatment of vitiligo. So oral and topical L-phenylalanine, clobetasol, propionate, and UVA sunlight, a new study for the treatment of vitiligo, which is a really bad sort of skin disorder. So here's what people say about L-phenylalanine as a nootropic. Here we go. L-phenylalanine equals extreme mental clarity. Anyone else? I notice that within an hour of taking it, I take fish oil, caffeine pills, D3 and B12. And later on, I take the L-phenylalanine for a boost. This is my third time taking it and it seems to give me energy and gets rid of my brain fog so much. 
much. Has anyone else noticed this? This next person said, good mood boost when taken sparingly. I usually took 500 milligrams of DLPA with 200 milligrams of caffeine and one to two grams of L-carnitine. Great for training on an empty stomach as well as for work and studying. And this person said, I notice it makes me more comfortable, happy and satisfied with my life, more relaxed and calmer every time I take it, less moody and irritable, less likely to take things so seriously and less reactive to negative events and situations. So I do wanna share that my experience does sort of match this with L-phenylalanine. Uh, it reliably increases my alertness, focus and just general confidence. You know, this is a, a supplement that I'm a big fan of and it's always there in my pantry for when I need a bit of a boost, um, particularly before filming or before podcast, things like that. So yeah, definitely check out L-phenylalanine if you are interested in you know maximizing your cognitive potential. And don't forget to check out this video here. Uh, I'll be making sure we leave a, a video on the, the side here to gain more insights into cognitive enhancement. Otherwise guys, please like the video. If you like this video, please like it and drop a comment down below. Let's get a discussion going. All right, I'll see you in the next video.